Cord Animal Health Diagnostic Lab has been partnering with TWRA to assist with testing for CWD in herds across the state. We're collecting samples, we're receiving samples from TWRA, from hunters, from taxidermists, from deer processors, and we really work with TWRA and various other regulatory partners to prevent the spread of disease within the state. So when we receive samples from TWRA, we are going to first accession those samples, assign them a sample number so we can track its life throughout the laboratory to ensure they don't get mixed up with any other samples. Then we're going to take that tissue, we're going to chop it into small pieces, we're going to take a subsample of that tissue and begin processing it to purify it to really extract those prion proteins or those proteins that are resistant to degradation. Uh, and then we're going to test those by ELISA before reporting those back out to our partners at TWRA. So now that you've heard a little bit about the partnership between TDA and TWRA, we'll pass it over to Jocelyn Rivetta, our supervisor uh, of the CWD testing section, to give you an in-depth view of what happens. With every single tissue, we pull out our lymph node with a clean pair of forceps. And prions like to bind to stainless steel, um, so it's very, very important that we use one forcep per, per sample. And then so for every single sample, we're aiming for 0.18 grams to 0.22 grams. We macerate it a little bit, and then each sample gets its own, these are typically numbered, so this will be like the, you know, one through 90 um, that we would assign that, that sample during accessioning. And then we generate this cut sheet, and so it's just like, I know that this, when I accessioned it, this sample that ends in 999 is going into tube number one. And so for each sample, we, um, before we start cutting, we check it against our cut list to make sure that we know for a fact tube number one is positive, and that means it's sample number 999. So this is our homogenizer. It's a super scientific blender. There's beads in each tube. So think of that as your blender blades. Once we put it in here and I start it, this manifold will rotate like this very, very quickly. And so those beads are in there grinding it, chewing it up your tissue. It started out as a lymphatic tissue in saline, and then it is now uh, a tissue smoothie. I take my syringes, and these are my calibration syringes. These syringes, they're a dull needle, but the diameter of that needle is the largest particle I want in my sample. Um, what we're doing is we're chewing up and spitting out anything that's not as strong as a prion. Um, and so I need my particles to be small enough to where the enzyme can come in, digest it if it's not prion. And uh, so that's why this step is completely essential. So I pull out 35 microliters of my, my sample. This is our NSP and it's an automated purification system. By putting it into my deep well plate, we can process 90 samples at a time. I'm gonna put my proteinase into my proteinase tub. So I have put my reagents in there. I have my samples, I have my reagents, and this will be my final end product um, purified protein plate. And from there, we'll run the ELISA. In the bottom of this plate is purified prion. We have essentially layered our different reagents into our ELISA plate. It's an hour and a half later, so the yellow is positive and the clear is negative, we know by looking at this um, that sample one was positive. See, on our plate, if you compare the yellows to the red IRs, which stands for initial reactor, but you can see that it lines up with um, what we would expect, you know, like the, all the yellow ones are, are uh, positive. Yes. So all the way through, we keep all our samples once you are assigned number one, you are number one until we're sending results to you guys.